Saying the right thing is far more important than how you say it. Tom Wienick here in your watching Wizard Marketing TV, where business owners learn persuasive tools and techniques to spark miraculous growth. Watch today's episode and learn how to be positively certain you're speaking to an emotional desire, one that your customer is willing to pay for. One of the biggest mistakes beginning ad writers make is answering a question no one was asking. When this happens, your copy will most assuredly lack relevancy, which means you are not speaking to the felt need of your customer. And if you are not speaking to a benefit that lies within your customer's heart, how do you ever hope to persuade her to buy from you? Now, you might be thinking, hey buddy, I'm a grizzled ad writer and I've got the arrows in my back to prove it. I always speak to my customer's felt need. Besides, highlighting benefits over features is one of the most basic tenets of writing persuasive copy. Everyone knows that's ad writing 101. Now hold your horses there, hoss. Let's not get cocky confident. Even the most experienced among us commit this cardinal sin of copywriting from time to time. No one's infallible. But hey, don't feel bad. It happens to the best of us. Clayton Makepeace, the great direct response copywriter calls this writing to a faux benefit. A faux benefit is something that your prospective customer would never actually dream of at night. It's a product feature masquerading as a benefit. See, no one ever rolls out of a warm bed on a cold rainy morning, slaps her forehead and hollers, whoa boy, I need a funeral advantage. After all, my neighbor Jack already drives a nicer car and his lawn is pristine. Mine? Well, it looks like the Amazon, but I'll be damned if he goes out in a blaze of glory too. I've got to get me a funeral advantage. What's so funny? Think I made that whole gain a funeral advantage idea up? Think again. I recently saw an advertisement with this exact headline. See, faux benefits creep into your ad copy like a sickness when you fail to drill down deep during your uncovery phase. In other words, you didn't do your homework. You came up just a bit short and didn't tap into the emotional benefit that fuels your customer's desire to buy from you. See, no one would list gain a funeral advantage as a top priority, but anyone with a heart wants to spare their loved ones from the emotional burden of having to make funeral arrangements at a time of great grief and despair. Some may even want to ensure that their final wishes are carried out to a T, but again, no one, I repeat, no one would think of this as gaining a funeral advantage. So let's discuss how to make sure that you're not presenting your customer with a list of faux benefits. Let's make sure that you're speaking to your customer's felt need. Here are three simple and straightforward steps that'll amp up the emotional voltage of your copy. Step number one, review your ad copy using Makepeace's patented forehead slap test. Snuff out all those faux benefits. Are you writing about a benefit that people actually dream of at night? Step number two, change your perspective. Move beyond an inward, product-focused perspective to an outward, customer-focused one. Features are about the product or service, not the customer. But that's a problem since good ads are about the customer, not the product or service. As Makepeace says, most features exist for a reason. But people don't buy features. They buy things that will change their lives for the better. Things that provide hope and promise of a brighter tomorrow. So if we want to write good ads, and who here doesn't, then we've got to shift our perspective to the benefits that each feature provides and ask, why does this feature exist? What does this feature do for my customer? Now don't stop there. Be sure to complete step number three. Drill to the core of what's in it for your customer at a deep-rooted emotional level. How will this benefit make my customer feel? How will it enrich her life and change things for the better? Always remember, the mind finds logic to justify what the heart has already decided. Once you win the heart of your customer, their mind and money will surely follow. Now marketing wizards, did you like this video? Then do me a huge favor, please subscribe and share it with your peeps all across the YouTubes and the interwebs. And give me a shout, send in your marketing and advertising questions. Hit me up at tom at tomwaynick.com and I'll give you an answer right here. As always, we're in this together. I've got your back 
I'll see you real soon.